became another abandoned building, the Goodwill Theater was a hopping entertainment venue. In tonight's legacy landmark, Amy Hogan takes us behind the curtain of the theater's long history. Impressive. Even though the seats have been stripped out and the plaster is crumbling, you can see signs of what the Goodwill Theater used to be. A lot of great history here. Built in 1920 by George F. Johnson as a gift to his workers and the community. The performances were geared toward the mass public. This was not an artsy theater. This is not going to have highbrow theater for the highly educated. This is aimed at the masses. Originally built for vaudeville acts, this stage has amazing acoustics. Coming up roses. You can see that you really need very little amplification. All 850 seats could see and hear everything, just how Johnson wanted it. I didn't want anyone to feel like they were in a lesser section. Advice, enjoy cinema. When motion pictures became all the rage in the 1930s, the Goodwill became a movie theater called Enjoy Cinema. For most of existence, the only movie theater in the village of Johnson City. But times would change again. The multiplex theaters came to pass. Uh, the Oakdale Mall had opened up with a triplex. Uh, you had Binghamton Plaza had a duplex. Enjoy Cinema couldn't keep up. The theater closed its doors in the 1970s. Now, the curtain is rising on a third act. And that's what's so exciting. Nyma Crajan and her theater company have owned the Goodwill since 2002 and have been chipping away at restorations. There's significant work that has to be done there, but that's been fully abated and uh, almost all the stabilization is complete. In the spring, we'll be working on the basement and the doors and windows. The plan is to have the theater open and operating by 2022, part of a performing arts complex that will connect the Goodwill to the Shore Family Firehouse stage, ushering in yet another era for the Goodwill Theater. In Johnson City, for Fox 40 News, I'm Amy Hogan.